the one way to deal with the narcissist. The one way to cope with or control this difficult person or situation. There's really only one way to deal with a narcissist. There's only one way to act or behave towards them. And that is by not dealing with them at all. That is by limiting the contact you have with them. By limiting the amount of your time, energy and money you invest into them. Because in the end, you're only going to end up disappointed. They will only fail to fulfill your hopes and expectations. A relationship with a narcissist will always lack reciprocation. It will always lack a mutual exchange. And you're going to be the one who is left with the short end of the stick. You're going to be left with the outcome that has less advantage. And that is why you need to manage your investments with a narcissist. The narcissist will promise you the world. They will future fake and make you believe that you are investing in something good. Something beneficial for you. And this makes you want to give it your all. It makes you want to put all of your energy and effort into it. Because you're good hearted. You're kind, caring and generous. And you assume that there's going to be a worthwhile result for you in the end. You assume that all of your hard work is not going to go unnoticed. But the narcissist sees your kindness as a weakness. They see it as something to exploit. They're not concerned about you. Their only concern is them getting a return on their investment. And you may think that they haven't invested anything into you. But narcissists can be very arrogant. They have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. They have a strong sense of entitlement. And they expect you to see it as a privilege to even be around them. Regardless of how they treat you. They believe that you should see it as an advantage. Even if they're not doing anything that would benefit you. In their minds they are more able and more important than most people. But you are not deserving of their qualities and abilities. You have to prove yourself to them. You have to prove that you are deserving of everything they have to offer. When the reality is, they don't have anything to offer you. That's just a manipulation lies in the future faking. It's designed to make you think they have something to offer. But nothing ever manifests. They keep you chasing after their validation like a carrot on a stick. But they never let you get too close to it. Because if they were to do that, you would realise that it isn't even real. It's a mirage. It's an unrealistic hope or wish that cannot be achieved. But the game is to get you to believe that there is something. When the reality is that there is nothing at the end of this. They just want you to think that there is, so that they can control you. So that they can influence your actions and behaviours. 
so that they can make you put out maximum effort. They can have you invest in everything into them because you think that you're going to get a return on your investment. You think you're investing in something good and something valuable when the reality is that there is no meaning or value to this. The narcissist has determined this to suit their own agenda. They create the illusion of meaning, the illusion of value. So that you think it's something worth investing in. And you may see it as a gamble. You may see it as a risk or a chance that you're taking. When really it's not a gamble at all. There is no chance of this succeeding. Because you're investing in something that has no value. You're investing in something that will not benefit you in any way and it will actually only hinder your progress. It will only set you back. But you don't see that in the beginning because you're still being fooled by the illusion of value. You think that you're going to get something in return. If not now, then somewhere down the line. Because you've been manipulated into thinking that this person has value. So you assume that if you invest in something valuable, you're going to make a profit. You're going to get a return on your investment. But the reality is that it's all fake. It's all deception. There is no value to this person. They have nothing to offer you. And that is why you will inevitably end up with a loss. Because you're the one who is bringing value to them. You're building them up. But they have nothing to give to you. They didn't come around you to share anything with you. They only came around you to take and build something for themselves while making you believe that they had something to offer or that they had the potential to share something with you in the future when that's just a part of the game that's just designed to keep you around so that you can continue putting out maximum effort they gave you this false incentive This thing that motivates and encourages you to do something. It makes you want to take action. Because it makes you believe that you're investing in something worthwhile. It makes you believe that you're investing in something that is going to benefit you in the long run. When the reality is. You're just running yourself into the ground for someone who is only going to resent you in the end someone who is only going to think that you owe them that is why there is only one way to deal with a narcissist and that is by holding back on your investment stop devoting all of your time, effort and energy into something that has no worth or usefulness to you stop investing into something that is dysfunctional into someone who is unable to deal adequately with normal social relationships. Because it will only come back to bite you in the end. It will only cause more trouble for you in the future. No matter what you do for the narcissist, they are never going to appreciate it. They're never going to feel like they owe you something in return. They're just going to feel like you owe them. Because you're investing in something that has no value. You're investing in something 
that is more trouble than it's worth. It causes you a lot of problems. It takes up a lot of your time and effort. And you do not achieve or gain very much in return. It's a liability. It puts you at a disadvantage. And you should not be putting any importance or value on something that is not benefiting you in any way. You need assets. You need something that is useful and valuable to you. Something that provides a benefit or advantage. Because it has value. When you're dealing with a narcissist, they don't really have any value. And any little value they do have only depreciates the longer that you are with them. Their behavior gets worse and they become less effective. They diminish in value over a period of time. And then you are left to cover the cost. You are left to pay for the expenses. You need to invest in things that are going to appreciate in value. Things that are going to increase in value over time. Things that are going to benefit you in the long run. The narcissist is not going to benefit you in the long run because they're only concerned with short-term gratification. They're only concerned with what they can get right now. Which means that they are not suitable for long-term relationships. They are not suitable to build anything meaningful or significant with. Which is why there's really only one way to deal with a narcissist. And that is by holding back on your investment. By limiting the amount of time, energy and money you invest into them. Because anything you invest into a narcissist is only going to be lost or wasted. Nothing good will come out of it in the end. You will only end up with less than you came in with. And then you will just end up regretting your decision to be involved with them. You will feel like you got ripped off. You will experience buyer's remorse. If you want to build and establish something meaningful and valuable, invest in yourself. Investing in yourself is one of the best returns on your investments you can have. You will be able to achieve a better quality of life. You will become productive and successful. You will be satisfied with your choice to invest in yourself. You won't feel like you got ripped off. You won't have buyer's remorse. You won't feel like you made the wrong decision. Learning to invest in yourself may be the most profitable investment you ever make because you are investing in something that has value. You are investing in something advantageous, helpful and of good effect. Something that will benefit you and everyone else around you. When you invest in something that has value, you will always get a return. You will always get something back. When you are dealing with a narcissist, you need to identify that they have nothing to give to you. They're investing all of their time and energy into you because they recognize your value. They understand that you have something to offer, but they have nothing to bring to the table. 
They don't have any skills, qualities or attributes that will benefit you. So it's really inevitable that you're going to end up with a loss. You're going to end up deprived of something. You're going to end up suffering a lack of material and cultural benefits. You're going to feel like you've just been robbed because you're dealing with something that has no value, which is destined to drain you and only leave you deprived in the end. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.